What is going on you beautiful people, hope you're all having a great day. Today I'm gonna be showing you how to do the before and after slider inside of Premiere Pro. This effect or slider can come in handy if you wanna do a before and after, say a color grade or an effect that you've made. So without further ado, let's jump straight into the tutorial. Alright, so right here I have a video clip. What I want to do is I want to add a slider that goes from right to left. So the first thing we need to do is to create a new adjustment layer. And then click OK, drag the adjustment layer on top of the clip, make it the same duration as the clip. This is like the clip is going to be your before shot and the adjustment layer is going to be your after shot. So I'm going to click on the adjustment layer and just for the sake of this tutorial, I'm going to redu reduce the exposure. Right here, what we want to do is we're going to go to the position. If you move the position right here horizontally, you see that the slider is going left and right. And we can also do it from top to the bottom, whichever you prefer. Alright, so the first thing we want to do is we want to determine which way. In my case, my slider is going to go from the right to left. So I'm just going to slide it all the way to the right. And then we're going to click on the position to add a keyframe. And we move in a couple of seconds. And now we're going to set it to 960. So if I play it back, as you can see, it is slowly coming in from the right to the left. Now this seems a little bit slow. And so what I'm going to do is I'm going to drag the keyframe back a little bit. Let's play it back. All right, so this is the first um, part. So we can do it from right to left. Of course, from left to right is the exact same thing. Um, now what we want to do is, let me just change this up just for diversity. I'm going to brighten the image now. And now we want to click on the keyframe again. And what we want to do is we want to have the vertical slider shot. So I want it to be coming from the top. Right, now that my image is completely dark, what I'm going to do is move in a couple of seconds again. And I'm going to set it back to 540. And if I play it back, you're going to see that it's slowly coming from the top. Now, of course, this just doesn't have to be only adjusting the exposure. You can add effects, blur effects, color grades, or whatever you prefer. I just made this to make the tutorial as short as possible. And that is it. This is the before and after slider shot that you see in many YouTube videos. If you guys enjoyed the video, hit that like button down below. Subscribe for more content. And as always, I'll see you guys in the next one.